Hello, my name is Sofia and I would like to present uh, our paper with, uh, uh, this is a joint paper with Maria Itkevich from Center for Institutional Studies. Uh, the paper is the role of trust in student social network formation. Okay, let's think a bit about the trust in social networks. We think, uh, based even on common sense, that actually trust can be somehow connected with social networks, with the mechanisms of social networks formation, with the evolution of the social networks. And we also thought about it and we decided to answer this question, what is the role of trust in social network formation? We uh, looked through some literature and found out that trust is an important element of social life. Uh, they were found a lot of positive, a lot of positive links between trust and academic performance, income, personal happiness, and health. A lot of economists and sociologists are investigating the role of trust in our social lives, but still. There are very few empirical studies which show the connection between the social ties, social networks and the trust. In a few uh, uh, theoretical papers, uh, for example in papers by Slaner, trust was considers, uh, considered as an important factor of the uh, social network formation. Uslaner outlined that trust uh, can be like a social glue for social networks and it can help people to form relationships uh, with persons from different groups, uh, with persons from different communities and thus trust can be an important element of this uh, Intra, uh, uh, intra uh, society cohesion and thus it was uh, it's really very important element of the social environment but still as I outlined uh, there are very few even no empirical studies which show the precise empirical connection between social ties and trust in this study we tried to fill this gap and we investigated uh, the, um, uh, the role of trust in social network formation. Let me just introduce a few uh, of the uh, formulations that uh, will be very important uh, for them. Uh, we investigated social environment and we define this social environment as student friends and the friends of their friends. Uh, let me show here, but uh, we don't have here colors. Um, I'm surprised that actually the, the, this note supposed to be red. <laughs> I can maybe I can change it into. Um, it's no, it's weird. Okay, uh, let's. Uh, let's uh, have a look what is the social environment of this person. Social environment of this person, according to our definition, is his friend, are his friends. This note, this note and this note. And the friends of their friends. This note, because this is the friend of this guy. And this note, because this is the friend of this guy. Thus, we have our student and his social environment consists of uh, five persons. One, two, three, four, five. And these guys' white notes are not the social environment of our student because they do not have uh, uh, these uh, connections with him through his friends or the friends of his friends. Okay, uh, is everything clear? Okay, we have a student, we have his friends, and we have the friends of his friends. We do not uh, think that social environment is the friend or friend of his friends or some other guys who do not have direct connections with him. Yes. And um, we measure trust uh, by generalized uh, trust question, which is used in World Value Survey, European Social Survey, and uh, I think that all of you know, uh, have read a lot of papers uh, which are investigating uh, this general trust. Uh, the question is as follows, generally speaking, would you say that most people can be trusted? And you can answer 
yes or no. So we can people who trust and we have people who are, do not trust. So we do not have um, uh, anyone who are trust uh, at some point somehow. We have trust and not trust people. And um, we, uh, based on the literature and based on uh, the assumptions of Bauslein, we formulated the following hypothesis. Hypothesis first is actors who trust people are more likely to form connections with people outside of their social environment. Uh, over here we see that uh, this black dot is the person who uh, trusts and I, um, we think that uh, there is a tendency of uh, connecting with guys who are not within his social environment. And the second hypothesis is that actors who trust two people are more likely to form connections with people within their social environment. And this is as follows. So, uh, people are tending to form connections within uh, their, fr their friends of their friends. Uh, in order to test our hypothesis, we used the data of one of the surveys. It was uh, the survey uh, of first-year students and HEC economic department. Uh, they, uh, they were questionnaire survey during uh, three times during the first academic year. It was in October, February and June. Data about trust was collected during uh, two times in the first and the last waves of the survey. We also gathered uh, from the administrative database the information about US Unified State Examination scores in math and Russian language. It's uh, the analog of SAT test in the US. Uh, we studied information about 117 students. It is 90% uh, of the whole cohort. And um, they were divided in five study groups. Uh, it was about 17% of female and 13% of male. We collected, uh, in, in this study, we uh, used data about two types of network. The first type of network is friendship. We asked our students during these three waves of survey, please indicate the classmates with whom you spent most of your time. And we consider that these persons are the friends of our students. And we also asked the students to indicate classmates uh, that they knew before the enrollment to the university. And we uh, assume this network as the network of pre-existence knowing each other. All the networks were directed and the number of nominations was unlimited. And here is the visualization of the friendship network. Uh, the notes here are students, connections between them are friendship connections, and so they are directed. Note color indicates study group affiliation. We see that over time networks uh, tend to be more clusterized. It means that people tend to uh, be friends with those guys who are in the same group. And we also see uh, that uh, connections are becoming more dense. Here is a descriptive statistics for the social network and uh, it shows us that the density of the networks are, is uh, low and it's even a bit uh, decre uh, decreasing over time. We suppose that on one hand it can be a result of mm, uh, increasing uh, the role of friendship and it means that uh, if uh, you um, think in the first wave that you have a lot of friends then you have to be uh, more um, then you have spent a lot of time to communicate with them and so over time the number of friends decreasing bec because you support less connections but these connections are more important for you okay 
the reciprocity is the tendency of people to be friends with those guys who nominate them at the front and it's really high in our network. Uh, transitivity shows the tendency of friends of their friends be friends and it's also relatively high. And here is the Jacquard coefficient shows the changes in the network over time. Data about trust, as I outlined, was measured by a generalized trust question during first and third waves. It's interesting that in the first wave and in the third wave we had the same distribution. 54% of students tend to trust people and 46% of students do not trust people. Yes? Can I make a suggestion about your picture? Yes. Like you a picture with network. Okay. This one. Rounds for those who trust and squares for those who don't. Ah, uh, okay. Yes. And then you would be able, for instance, to see that you know all the yellow people trust each other, and all the white people don't trust anybody. So Thank you. That's great. <laughs> I mean, I won't be necessarily be able to see all of them. Uh, okay. That would be one way to. It's binary anyway. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, so we can play with shape somehow. Yes, thank you. Yes, and the, we have the same, uh, we have the distribution that 54% uh, trust and 46 uh, uh, do not trust. Uh, but uh, some people change their attitude toward trust. The correlation between waves is 0.54. Uh, the 9% of students are losing their trust and at the same point 9 students are beginning to trust in the period between these observations. So um, it's practically uh, 8 months I think so. so during these 8 months 21% uh, changed their attitude toward trust. And it was a bit controversial for us because and counterintuitive because we expected that Actually, people do not tend to change their attitude toward trust because in many papers trust uh, is discussed as a somehow exogenous variable that tends to be the same over the whole life period of the person. So but the first round was October. Yes. That's before the exams. Yes. So <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, Marianne. Yeah, but the, the, uh, this, the very fact that you ask is changing the bias. I mean, uh, do you trust me? Do you really <laughs> trust me? <laughs> do you really, really trust me? But we have another because question. And the third time, I, mean, you trust really, I, I mean, really uh, wonder if I trust all my friends. I mean, uh, the, <laughs> if you ask me today, do I trust people? I say yes. Have you seen people? You ask me in a month, do I trust all of you? Uh, yes. So if you ask me a third time, probably I, I may change. So that may make the difference between the literature and what you find, that they change their attitude. I think that uh, uh, what is really relevant uh, is to stress this, that this idea of trust is a subjective idea of trust. So you are asking and there is timing yes. in between the two uh, observations. Two waves, yep. Uh, what I would suggest, but maybe we can discuss it later, is uh, to go into these networks to see what is the composition of the networks because you have a lot of uh, fame in, uh, in the literature. It is see, it is, it, you can see that uh, there is a different attitude, uh, gender attitude to trust. So maybe you can uh, check for this inside the networks. Okay, th so thank you. Yes. Uh, let me continue. Okay. And uh, in order to investigate the role of trust in social network formation, we use stochastic actor oriented models. Saom uh, is uh, one of the most popular techniques uh, that help us, that give us an option, gives us an option to investigate the mechanism of online, of, of uh, sorry, <laughs> of different types of network, of uh, social network evolution over time. It shows us the mechanisms of network evolution. The changes within the network are modeled as an outcome of Markov process. These models are actor-driven models, it's very important. It means that each actor within the network is looking for an option to improve his position by changing his ties with his social environment. 
Uh, the network evolution models as a continuous process and micro changes within the network are uh, the result of different micro, micro, micro changes. And at each step, uh, actor changes either ongoing or outgoing time in order to improve his position within the network. By the way, all these guys do not coordinate with each other, so all these actions are their own ideas. And uh, we uh, studied this, uh, um, we applied this method in our Siena package. And uh, the effects or in this model uh, were as follows. We included basic network effects, which are controls. We included uh, triadic network effects, which are also controls. And we controlled for other types of networks, uh, that network that people were uh, knew each other before enrollment and people studied in the same group. We included the effects of gender, of trust and of the unified state examination. Here is the result. Uh, we see that uh, people do the negative uh, density shows us that people actually don't tend to form relationships um, stochastically, and if they form relationships with somebody, uh, these uh, relationships are usually included in more complex. Uh, environment. Reciprocity positive, it shows us that people tend to reciprocate their friendship nominations. Transitivity shows us that friends of our friends are becoming our friends. Uh, three cycles shows us that uh, people uh, do not tend uh, to uh, form uh, hierarchical hierarchical structures and uh, to pass shows us that people actually over here that people actually don't tend to create connections with somebody who are not within their social environment popularity uh, is not significant and it means that people don't want to be friends with somebody who has already a lot of friends. Activity is negative and it um, shows us that if I have all, a lot of friends already, uh, I don't want to arrange another new friend, so I don't, be, I don't want to be very active within the network. Uh, the same group shows us that people are more likely to connect with somebody who are from their uh, study group and knowing, at, uh, knowing each other before enrollment means that we would like to connect with somebody who we knew before the university. Is there any hierarchy inside of the group? Like in, when I was studying in Norse, there was a guy who knew everybody's phone numbers so in case something happens with, there is a way to contact everybody. With it. We don't know such stuff from this model. Yes. Um, I mean, I'm very agnostic about each part of it. Popularity is uh, how many friends do you have, right? Popularity, uh, okay, let me show you this. Okay, popularity is as follows. We model that at time one you have a, you are this guy. You have uh, this guy nominates you, and over time so these the guys are also. The number of yes. Of yes. Right. So how that how that would interact with reciprocity? Uh, because that as an interesting factor. If I have only one friend, then by definition probably I'm reciprocating. If I have one thousand nominating me as a yes. guy because I'm a rock star, I'm not able to reciprocate. Most certainly. So there may be something that you didn't catch. Yes, that the variable popularity is taking something or making the reciprocity higher. Okay, thank because you for your idea. Yes. Yeah, capturing that the guys that do not have many friends are reciprocated, where those who have many are not necessarily reciprocated. Thank you, Moran. It's an interesting idea. Actually, we didn't test it. I think that we, we can take a look at it.
Okay, let's move on to the results. And uh, gender, uh, in one model boys actually are more popular rather than girls, but we remember the gender composition of the social network and all this gender effect sh should be taken into consideration that this, uh, there are much more girls in the sample rather than boys. Uh, boys are also more active within the social network, they are more likely to connect with somebody. And uh, gender similarity shows us that people tend to form connections with somebody uh, from the same gender. Here is the most, uh, um, let me just briefly uh, say a few words about unified state examination. We didn't find any significant uh, role of unified state examination on the social network formation. It means that actually people do not uh, pre-select each other based on the uh, USS course and uh, they don't um, they don't like to be more active or uh, more popular within the network based on They're just so high that it yes 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 uh, let's discuss the role of trust uh, we seen that people who are trust are tend to be more active within the social network and more popular we also see that people who trust and people who do not trust segregate based on the level of trust. It means that if you trust person, if you trust, if you generally speaking, if you trust people, you tend to connect with somebody who are also generally speaking tend to trust, and vice versa. Uh, about our hypothesis, then uh, role of. Uh, trust on uh, with uh, on within the network formation was measured by the uh, by this variable it's trust ego multiplied by transitivity the interaction effect and we didn't uh, find uh, any significant um, results it means that uh, trans uh, people who trust they do not uh, tend to be more likely to form uh, connections within their social environment but when we take a look on the trust ego interaction effect with two paths, which uh, models the interaction um, uh, that shows us the role of uh, trust on the uh, we uh, without the social environment network formation, it's positive and significant. And let me conclude it means uh, we found that actors who trust two people are more likely to form connections with people outside of their social environment on the other hand people who trust two people are more likely to connect uh, do not more likely to form connections with people within their social environment so we supported the first hypothesis and we didn't support the second hypothesis uh, we also found uh, trust-based uh, social selection in our social system. It means that people who trust befriend those who also trust and vice versa. We found that students who trust are more popular, uh, tend to be more popular, and uh, sp uh, people who trust uh, tend to be more active. Uh, in the discussion, I would like to not only conclude this paper, but also to discuss the further directions of the research. Uh, in this study, we found uh, that trust serves as an important factor of the social network formation. And uh, we found that uh, there is a segregation based on trust and we also found that uh, trust uh, serves an, as an important factor of connecting d uh, different people within the social network and it's very important because this is uh, one of the few empirical evidences. These results are consistent with the theoretical ideas by Slaner and uh, our next step is to look for the connection between the trust, academic achievement and the social networks. How all this uh, big and complex environment uh, behaves and uh, really how trust interacts with the connections of people between each other and how these connections then can uh, 
somehow influence the academic achievements and uh, success in university. Thank you for your attention. Yes. Okay. Uh, if I can uh, give you a suggestion, it seems that it is uh, an experiment uh, what you are doing with mm -hmm. this uh, survey. Uh, usually in experiment we test uh, with a sort of questionnaire at the end of the experiment or at the beginning the social attitude of a participant. And in this case, uh, since you have uh, this uh, idea of trust, uh, which is uh, uh, measured by uh, subjective evaluation, I would suggest you to, uh, um, to make a step to define better this trust, because uh, uh, really you ask, uh, do you trust or not? But what is trust? For me, trust could be very different than uh, from uh, the idea of trust in other people. And for instance, you could uh, include uh, in this idea of trust uh, simply uh, some sort of social attitude of people towards uh, a relationship or uh, helping the others, whatever. Usually we put at the end of the experiment questions about uh, if they contribute to non-profit uh, or to sports or other kind of organization. For instance, you can have a similar question, just having a refer uh, reference to the literature and this sort of question. Because otherwise, uh, this idea of trust, uh, to me, it's a little bit, uh, it's very interesting with the investigation and really relevant question, but uh, I would focus a little bit more on uh, definition of trust. Thank you. It's so really I'm important. going to say a very similar thing, but for a different reason. I have no idea why is that coming this This sounds like sociology. Yes, it's sociology, it's social networks. Sociological people have a lot of opinions about what is trust. I would be very careful before assuming yeah. freely that trust okay. can be measurable by a variable. I would run it by a lot of sociological people, yeah. how to sell that to them. After that, you add the performance in the education and how does that happen? It still is not economics. Yes. Okay. Uh, the salary of an economics professor is about two times bigger than the salary of a sociology professor. The salary of economics professor is about two times bigger, if not three times bigger, than the salary of education. So these are interesting questions in economics. People care about them. Try finding economics questions with rich and interesting data that you have and exploit them. There are interesting things going on there. Think about what do they allocate. Maybe they allocate time between having friends and studying. Yeah. Right? This is becoming an economic question. They have a scarce resource. Right? Do they have enough time to study? Right? There are policy implications about it. Right? So my point is go out of sociological perspective. Think about it. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, just one point. Uh, this question, do you trust or not, it's like a very uh, sensitive question. For example, uh, your sample just my advice because if you ask me, do you trust, I will think, okay, what should I say? Do I trust you or not? Maybe I would say yes, but in my heart, I don't. So that's just one limitation. Yeah, thank you very much, yes. Uh, Mariano, or John? I, okay, John. John, seniority. <laughs> I just want to remind you that um, because this, even though this trust question is used in a lot of other papers, but it's used in a sort of macro level, it's not clear that it makes sense to use it yes. in this micro level, right? And in particular, I'm very concerned that the trust question is correlated with psychological variables. So for instance, did you run Big Five or other of these things? No. And the reason I ask for that is maybe trust is not picking up trust, but it's picking up openness. Say. And and what does the psychological literature say about openness versus trust? So if openness is highly correlated with with trust, then it's not about trust. What you're observing is like is with like. People with similar uh, personalities, what you're calling trusting, maybe their high openness mixed with other people with high openness. Sit conversely, people with low openness mixed with people are also low openness. So it's not about trust. They're just sorting by type. And then if you use other personality measures neuroticism, athleticism, whether they are like sports, then what you find is that 
there's two different effects. One effect is a people of a certain type, say people like sports or are open, have more friends in general. However, they prefer to mix with people who are like them. Uh, and similarly, people you're saying are not trusting, maybe these are people who are either not very popular or they're nerds or okay. they're whoever, whatever the people who are just social outcasts, and so they mix with other social outcasts or introverted, and they're, they're not very talkative, and so they tend to stay together or something. You see, and yeah. so it's really important what you're doing is a micro <laughs> sociological study to care about what trust means. It doesn't matter so much if you're thinking about the kind of connect kefir stories, because there it's really a proxy for a broad set yeah. of things that we don't need to unpack exactly what that means. And there the surprise is that the different, you don't have to believe the trust is the same everywhere to realize that the answer to this trust thing has these big macro yes. correlations. But that now you're doing it at the micro level, so you can't just sort of say, well, somebody else used it for a different study, so I can use it too. When you change the type of question you answer, you can't necessarily use the same variable. Thank you. I'm, I'm not an expert in this type of literature, so my questions are more well, to, to guide you to a general audience. I was looking at theory or, or a framework. So you have a nice data, mm -hmm. uh, survey data probably is the only one, you have uh, this idea of using networks uh, to to uh, to match the data to to analyze the data, but you have a framework okay. or a, a theory that could be the basis. Second is building on um, on what John said: the role of trust versus what? What is the the alternative channel? Uh, you're using um, the fifth year students, right? First year. First year? First year, yeah. freshman, first. Oh, I, 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 so I, I read uh, my fifth year. No, no, no. But perfect. And my idea was to use the first year because they are <laughs> the, new, the newcomers. Uh, but do you differentiate also those who are coming from outside? Yes. So, uh, we, we have this, this data, but we do not perfect. use so it I, here. I misread the, uh, in the presentation. Uh, and then one last one. Uh, you were talking about friendship, yeah. but friendship and networking, although in America it's the same, it's not necessarily the same. So a friend, I consider a friend somebody that I invite for dinner and I go to the cinema and I'm networking if I'm doing some common work. Okay. And this is a friend and a friend, but there are two different types of friends, right? So yeah, thank you for your comments. Uh, I have a <coughs> comment in, in a few few questions. First of all, a comment, don't leave sociology. Sociology may be you know, paid less, but it's it's fun. And I think, <laughs> uh, I think that there are, uh, could be a, a, a good sociological study. But I agree that uh, using one variable for trust probably won't work. And uh, uh, since you have this cohort at yeah. the university, uh, then you can maybe develop some more elaborate instrument to measure the level of trust, even even experiments, because there are not so many of them. Uh, I have two two comment two questions. Uh, first of all, what happened since this is uh, uh, you follow the same cohort? Uh, uh, during the first uh, the first academic year, we follow the same yeah, cohort. I, I'm surprised that nobody dropped out. No, there were f a few people who dropped out. We studied the sample uh, the. 90% uh, of the whole cohort, so some people dropped out. So, but you didn't, uh, you didn't you know what the happened the with yeah. the networks. So, who, what, what people dropped out where they were in the network? Uh, if you exclude them, if you excluded them, you're biasing. Uh, yeah, you, you're biasing yes. something. Probably. We, uh, there is a special tool for these models that we used. It is composition change, which helps us to treat the missing data if there are less than 20% of the missing data. So we somehow handle it. Yeah, it, but, no, but it's, the it's more the than tell you yeah. more why the you can answer why they drop out. Yeah, Maybe yeah. they don't have friends and say, well, I, I don't belong to, to this in that one. This is, uh, this is the topic of our another paper, actually, the dropouts and the social networks. Yeah, that's okay. really very interesting. And, and, the second, and the second one, do you uh, account for whether they live together in the dorm? We don't have such information. 
unfortunately. But I, I think it could be important because uh, we know that in this particular university, dorms are outside of the city, mm. and so people who mm. leave. Mm. Oh, this isn't. Mm. Mm. Okay, but anyway, maybe people who live together, they they spend more time together. Mm. Yes. Uh, and it's not because they like each other, but because they <laughs> they just leave. Mm. Yes. I have a little comment, uh, not uh, so much about deficiencies, about what you can do with your data uh -huh. already. Uh, you have trust that have different meaning for different mm -hmm. people, and you have friendship which means different things for different people. So, what if you just take uh, what people, uh, what person think about trust in others, and what others believe about friendship with that person? So, you don't uh, conflate. Uh, what people think, uh, what particular person think about friendship, because probably just trusting people believe um, uh, that friendship is weaker concept and hence they have more friends, just uh, more links outgoing. But if they have more links ingoing, then that problem that trust means different thing about uh, different things is not so important because you have something which makes people like you and it may be openness, it may be something, but it's not something that you decide about who you think your friends are. It's something, some property of personality, which is... Yeah, thank you very much for your comment. Okay. Any comments? Oh, dear colleagues, thank you very much for your comments. Great.